This is the last of the four training videos created by AISC for professional cleaning companies on the safe use of mixture information documents and supply chain communication. In this video, we're going to answer how can a cleaning company receive safe use information. We would like to give you some examples of some ways that you might receive the information on safe use in our products. We have focused so far on the AISE SUMIs that have the format that you can see here. However, sometimes this information, the same information in the, with the same simplicity and icons can be shared in a different way. There are, some, there are three options that we're going to go through in this video. The first one is an integration of the SWED and SUMI data in the main body of the safety data sheet. A second option is a safety data sheet referring to annexes or a separate set of SUMIs. And then the third option, we're going to show an, an example of a company specific SUMI. These are options that allow the safe use information to be shared with the same principle as the SUMI, so clearly using clear language and pictograms, but that allow companies to be more specific for their product range. So for our option one, that is the integration of the SWED SUMI data in the main body of the SDS. We presented the tool WICMAKER in the third video. This is a tool that was developed in the Netherlands that facilitates the creation of a worker instruction card via the insertion of the SWED SUMI code. And uh, so in this example, we would have the SUMI and SWED code clearly stated in section one so as to facilitate a company using WICMAKER. The information on safe use would then be integrated into the main body of the safety data sheet. Other items that the cleaning company would need to find out quite easily would be the maximum recommended use concentration, so the dilution factor, and you can see it highlighted here, and also some specific safety measures for concentrate and dilution would be provided in section 8.2 at this example they would be provided in section 8.2 and also the summary of the descriptors in this example again are provided in section 15.1 so this is an example of how the information could be conveyed for a in a, in a tailored situation by a formulator as a second example, option two, we have that the SDS refer is referring to annex and annex, or a separate set of SUMIs, and that the SUMIs could be attached physically to the product. So here we have, again, the dilution factor, which is highlighted in section 1.2, if it's not listed in 1.2, it could be somewhere else, such as section 8.2 of the safety data sheet. And then the SUMI codes are clearly listed and the AIC SUMI documents would be attached physically to the product. And then as a third example, we have a company specific SUMI. It is also two pages long, just like the AIC SUMIs. It uses the same principle of clearly communicating information using clear sentences and simple sentences and pictograms, but it allows the company to be more specific to their portfolio compared to an AIC SUMI. So as you can see, the elements in this example are very similar to that of an AIC SUMI. You have a title explaining the type of use and activities covered in the document. You have a section on operational conditions and risk management pet measures with the use of pictograms and clear language. 
Then you also have the maximum recommended concentration, which is something that you wouldn't be able to include in an AISC SUMI because those documents are created as, as a standard. And there is information on environmental measures, the use of pictograms in clear language, and also good practice advice, properties of product composition, and a summary of activities and the sweat codes. So we hope you enjoyed the four training videos created by AIC on the safe use of mixture information documents, SUMIs, and supply chain communication. We invite you to watch them as many times as you need and to share them with anybody in your company or your network that you think would find these informative and useful.